To that 11 breaking news alert tonight, the search for multiple suspects who authorities believe are armed and dangerous is on hold. That's after a chase came to a stop in a busy local neighborhood. You can see the car's front bumper there is smashed in from what happened during that chase. This all started in eastern El Paso County near Shriver Space Force Base after a report of shots fired and ended here at Yampa and Bennett in central part of Colorado Springs, not far from the Citadel Mall. It's a busy stretch of road. We're still working to learn more about why that search is suspended. 11 News anchor Grace Kramer is live near where this all ended. Grace, three people ran from this vehicle. Adam, deputies went door to door after that crash, asking residents in the surrounding area if they noticed anything suspicious or unusual this afternoon. Now tonight, deputies are saying that there is no danger to the public. We believe they are armed and dangerous at this time. El Paso County Sheriff's Office says this all started as a report of shots fired around 3.30 Friday afternoon in eastern El Paso County near Highway 94 and Curtis Road. Then it led to a chase through the county. Deputies say they learned that the car they were chasing was stolen. And when that chase started to approach the city, deputies say they backed off to make sure no one else got hurt. Oh, it just happened to be one of our deputies came across the street and the vehicle pulled in front of them and they were able to pursue them then. The department confirms that three people then ran from that crash car and the suspects were considered armed and dangerous for several hours. The suspects are described as a black male, a Hispanic looking male, and a female, her description at this time is unknown. The search for the three suspects was suspended a few hours after that crash. We have asked where that search stands tonight. As soon as the El Paso County Sheriff's Office provides an update, we will, of course, let you know. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Grace Kramer, KKTV 11 News. Yeah, we'll provide that important update as it comes in. Grace, thank you.